Hi, my name is Tracy Pepe. Welcome to The Scented Lair. We're here in my studio in downtown Brampton talking about essential oils and your mental health. Thanks for those subscribers who've come back to hear me and listen to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. We're growing every day and I really want to thank you for the questions and the emails that we get about the use of essential oils. Um, and those that are new to my channel, thanks again. Hit the subscription bo button or the bell below and you'll get notifications on when we upload a video. Today we're going to talk about lemon. Lemon oil. It's a wonderful oil. It's unique. And there's various different grades of lemon oil that come in from different parts of the world. We focus with the Spanish and the Italian lemon. They are really my favorite. They smell like candy, to be totally honest with you. Now, the research on this has been done um, over the years, and it's usually in the business on the psychology. And the research that I have seen is lemon helps to create focus. And at one point, there was a research paper done years ago, like I, over 20 years ago in Japan, on how lemon, the smell of lemon, helped to reduce um, errors with keyboard and data entry. And that was really interesting to me because that was one of the pivotal research papers that was presented to me when I was working with a large corporation. And the head office wanted to use lemon within the work environment for that reason, but also to create a fresh environment. Now, lemon oil itself, or the smell of lemon, is used in a lot of cleaning products. And there is a direct association to the smell and the cleanliness of how we feel. So stimulation wise, lemon is really good and I've used it to stimulate, to make a room feel fresh and uplifting. So how do you use lemon? Well, some people like to do uh, something very simple. It comes from the rind actually. The rind of the plant is where the essential oil is. So when you cut any lemon, you get a squirt of oil. That's the actual essential oil and it's called cold press. That's how they extract the oil. That's how they use it. And then they discard the peel. So lemon can be used in um, something as simple as you don't need a diffuser. You can put it on your uh, desk with some steamy water and put a few drops and allow that scent to permeate in the area. You can add scent to to a diffuser. Obviously diffusers are a really good tool to use. Please don't ever use essential oils on candles. They're highly volatile and they're um, highly um, flammable. And so it's really important to understand that they will catch on fire. And so you can use lemon scented candles that have been properly formulated by a good candle maker and the smell of lemon or the smells, same impact. How we get our scent and how the brain translates those smells, um, it doesn't really matter if it's natural or synthetic, to be totally honest with you. The smell makes you feel better. It's uplifting, it has a stimulating effect. We're starting to see certain research where there's certain raw materials found in essential oils, such as lavender with lineal acetate, that has a direct impact on certain conditions like anxiety, but there's a video on that one. Um, I haven't seen any direct correlation with lemon, but there it's my call out. I'm asking researchers to really focus on how we can utilize essential oils and scent to make us feel better. And as we are all kind of working towards COVID-19 and we're in our environments and we're by ourselves or we're with our families and we need tools, more tools to help us address some of the issues that we're facing. Essential oils work for me, I have to be honest. You put a few drops in a diffuser and you're doing a bunch of conference calls, it helps to create an environment that's stimulating and fresh. Boyd's another cup of coffee. Anyway, my name is Tracy Pepe. Thanks very much for joining me. I really appreciate this time. It's been fun and my goal is to teach people about essential oils and how to use them in their environments to make their life feel better, to make their children's, their work environments, to create an atmosphere that feels good. Mental health is something that is very much a part of us. And with COVID-19, the people that were di diagnosed before, it's heightened. And those of us who weren't, we still are starting to really start to feel the effects of the anxiety and the separation. So do something about it. Take care of yourself.
Have a good day. My name is Tracy Pepe.